That was indeed a rough adjustment for me when Veronica Corningstone joined our news team. Uh, but I'm happy to say I, uh, I was able to uh, adapt. The exhibit's a lighthearted look at a Hollywood parody of local TV news in the 1970s. But we took it one step farther and we wanted to show the reality behind the humor. Because there really was a time in news history when men owned the anchor chair and women were a novelty in the newsroom. The jazz flute, of course, is a fan favorite, but also Ron Burgundy's signature wide lapel 70s burgundy suit. Brian Fantana's Sex Panther Cologne from his Cabinet of Colognes is another fan favorite. The Angry Man movie is a parody, um, but in any parody there's a kernel of truth. We also point out that anchors have been a popular culture target for a long time, from Murphy Brown, Ted Baxter to Kent Brockman. These objects are artifacts of popular culture. The movie's a pop culture phenomenon. There's about 60 uh, props and other things from the movie in the exhibit. And then we'll be opening uh, in another couple of weeks a section on Anchorman 2 uh, with some great uh, things from the movie that no one's seen yet.